The next statement tonight, one of the problems President Trump is having is that not only is the Democratic Party trying to subvert him, but many in the media are doing that as well. Question tonight, will the press attack Judge Gorsuch? Joining us from Miami, Bernie Goldberg. Seems like a nice guy. I looked at his record. He very rarely overturned. You know, it, it's logic that he applies to his decisions. Um, and the press, I haven't seen, cre you know, the New York Times said he did, shouldn't go in, but of course they're going to say that. Washington Post loads up on op-eds against him. That's predictable. But generally speaking, it's only the real liberal zealots against him, or am I wrong? No, I think you're right. Uh, let me report to you what the conservative media research center says, because they monitor these things. They see a case of liberal bias in the coverage because yesterday only Fox News of the cable news networks and of the broadcast networks, only Fox News ran the Gorsuch hearing live, while the others stayed for hours on the FBI hearing, which arguably made Donald Trump look bad, and therefore, in their eyes, is a case of liberal bias. I disagree. The, the FBI hearings are far more important than the Gorsuch opening statement, so I don't think there was any bias there. That's hard news. As for opinion journalism, yeah, the commentators at big city newspapers and the other cable networks mainly are liberal, and they're not going to like a conservative judge. Uh, I happen to disagree. I think if, if we were less partisan, he'd win 100 to nothing, such as his qualification. But I'm not shocked by that. And but finally, I don't think he's a conservative judge. I mean, you know, he's conservative on a few things, like religious liberty. Um, he's seen as conservative. He's seen as but, conservative. But, you know, he looks real independent to me, and I've looked at his uh, <laughs> his rulings. He's not. Hey, hey, Bill, I said based on his based on his record, he ought to win a hundred to nothing. Yeah, I mean, he's not Scalia, who was very very adamant that the country should be run according to conservative principles. Anton Scalia you, you was. Know, your 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 talking that. points. Let me just say this: your talking points were, were right on the money, and you made a you made a very interesting and important point. You said that they want pol some people who are against Gorsuch are doing it for political reasons and want judges to be political. You're right. Here's the key. They want judges to be political, but only when the judges' politics are the same as their yeah, liberal politics. With their, right. And That's you saw the that you saw that with Al Franken today. I mean, how this guy ever got elected senator? I'm just sitting to myself going, how could this possibly happen? When he, you know, he was giving Gorsuch a hard time on some oblique ruling he made about some guy in a truck. <laughs> I'm going, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. the guy has ruled on thousands of cases. No, no, so, no but, but go ahead. But that, ex that example is representative of a lot of the criticism of Judge Gorsuch, and that is that he doesn't have enough empathy, in this case for the truck driver who was stuck out in the cold. It's a long story. But he doesn't have enough empathy for, quote, the little guy. Well, here's a bulletin. Priests can care about the little guy and advocate for him. Social workers can advocate for the little guy. Politicians can. But judges can't. That's not their job. Sometimes, and forgive me for saying this on national television, but sometimes the little guy is in the wrong. And in that case, the judge has to rule against the little guy. You have to rule this on the basis of the law. Liberals, right. Boy, this the is law something says. that liberals, both in and out of the media, don't quite seem to grasp. Well, I, I don't think that uh, Americans understand, and we have a Waters world coming up tomorrow on this. They don't get this. Oh, I can't wait for that. Yeah, they, well, no, but you, this... Every time he goes out and talks to regular folks at random, remember, they're not selected, and they know nothing, which is going to be the case because we've already shot this thing, about the Supreme Court, which holds the power over our lives. It's not the pinhead politicians that hold the power over our lives. It's not President Trump. I mean, he's going to be in for a little while, and then he's going to be gone. But the Supreme Court holds power over how we live. And the American people have, generally speaking, I have very little knowledge of this. Last word. No, you're right. L let me make one comment, one observation about the media and the judge combined. There's a motto in a lot of American newsrooms that say the, our role as journalists are to afflict the comfortable and uh, comfort the afflicted. 
That is a thousand percent wrong. That is not the role of journalists, and it's not the role of judges either. No. We're, we're not in the business of, of comforting the afflicted. That's for other people, like I, I said, am. for priests and other people. I, I, not no, I'm for in the judges. business of, I want to comfort everyone. That's what I do. I am. Because you're I'm a doing commentator. A, you're doing a fine job. I know, I, I you're am. comforting me a lot, I'll tell you 20 that. plus years, and you've been here long, but arrived for like eight or nine. Talk about comforting you and your family. Like uh, you are, I admit. Yeah, I, what I would you do? You'd be working it. at a Carvel somewhere if you weren't on here. <laughs> Bernie Goldberg, everybody, directly ahead.